Tonight, the family of a 10 month old little girl from McCandless is celebrating something very special. This is so exciting. You definitely remember baby Clementine mm -hmm. when you see her face. She is fighting a rare disease that affects only a handful of people in the world, but they just found a bone marrow donor for her. And Royce Jones just talked with the family and joins us live tonight with this very exciting update. Royce. Hey, you guys, yeah, the Black Hams are having a small party at their home behind me celebrating this good news, but also bidding farewell to all of their loved ones. On Sunday, Tanner and Tim Blackham are packing up the car with Clementine and her three year old sister, and they're going to hit the road and head to St. Louis. That is where the bone marrow transplant will take place. We've told you about Clementine before. She has a rare gene mutation that makes her unable to produce red blood cells and fight off infections without this transplant you guys her chances of survival are very unlikely her parents tell me that they've been keeping the faith this whole time just praying that somebody would be a match and last week they received a surprise email that will change their lives forever we found out that we have a 100 percent donor match for clementine which means that she's going to have a second you know lease on life and I had received an email from St. Louis and I thought it was just, you know, another paper to sign or insurance to send out. And I was reading it and then all of a sudden it was like, and date for a transplant is August 3rd and chemo starts on the 24th. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Now the family has no idea who this anonymous donor even is or what country they're from. Regardless though, Clementine's story has touched the hearts of so many. A couple months ago, you remember 450 people signed up and were swabbed for a bone marrow registry in Ross Township. So finding this 100% match is one thing that Clementine and her family are in for a long road ahead. We are talking months of time in the hospital, tons of tests that she has to undergo to make this transplant even possible, but also to increase the odds of making it successful. I'll have so many more details about that process and what happens next coming up on KDK News at 10 on the CW and 11 on KDKA. Reporting live in McCandless, I'm Royce Jones, KDKA TV News.